Hi everyone, it's Sunita from Blushington on the Upper East Side. Today I wanted to demonstrate one of our signature makeup classes, how to take 10 years off your face. It teaches you some great tips on how to get best care for your skin to minimize the appearance of wrinkles and how to wake up your eyes. Not to make the video too long, I decided to split it into two focus on complexion today and eyes tomorrow. First thing I like to do is start on an essential prep, starting with cleansing my skin with the Mycelar Water Bioderma. I'm using a cleansing pad, just taking off anything that I may have on my skin from before. My face has been washed, but I do like to double cleanse. And that's pretty simple. Okay, let's move on. So what I like to do is prep my skin to keep it moist, hydrated. My slow water is pretty hydrating, but I need extra hydration just to make sure that my skin doesn't look too dry, especially as you get older. Wrinkles, poor makeup removal that causes product buildup, which stretches out lines and pores in your skin. Proper makeup removal is the best trick to it. Um, obviously exfoliation is a must. Once a week, not too much, because dry skin does cause buildup. And uh, I like to use the Beauty RX monthly peel that we offer at the uh, Blushington locations or the progressive peel to take home. Uh, we do have the progressive peel available on our website. And um, my skin feels kind of dry now. My slow water is settled in. And I'm just going to start with my first step. I like to use the cucumber water, a few spritz in the palm of my hand, about three. And to that same water, I'm adding just two pumps of the vitamin C, the Beauty RX, which I have spoken about before, another favorite product. And to that same cocktail, I am adding the Camellia oil to keep my skin hydrated. Two drops, that's plenty. and just pressing it into my skin, under my eyes a tiny bit to take away any dryness that I may have. Not to forget my neck area. And once I feel this is settled in, I can move on to adding my moisturizer. For a daytime, I would highly recommend using products with SPF to avoid any kind of sunburns. Sun exposure to the skin can be harsh. Sun damage is not the best thing that we want to deal with. And I'm going to start with a tiny bit of the Beauty RX exfoliating under eye cream on my ring finger, just a dot. That's all you need. It is pretty hydrating and a little bit goes a long way. And I do like to rub it in. And this will also prep my eyes for concealer if I decide to add it.
And now that my serum has been nicely absorbed into my skin, I think I'm ready to go into using my sunscreen. I do love the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. It has a broad spectrum of SPF 50. I'm sorry, SPF 40. So let's start with that. Tiny bit on my fingers and just rub it together and make sure that I have every part of my face covered. And what I will do is I'll let that sink in. It feels really smooth on my skin and I love that feeling. Going into the next step. Um, added sun protection, as well as keeping my skin light. We are talking about taking 10 years off. I don't want any heavy foundation on my skin. And um, another quick tip is sleeping on a silk pillowcase. We do sell one on our website from the brand called Slip that can reduce friction on your skin, hair, and help products absorb into your skin better overnight. And another great product to use, which I do love, is using the To Go Spa products under my eyes to refresh my skin in the AM. I love to keep them refrigerated so they do feel cool and comfortable under my eyes. Okay, going into my I am going to start with I do love to have a little glow. Why not? Everyone wants a little glow. So I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. I think that's a good match for me. Just a tiny drop is all I need just to give myself a little bit of a glow. And I am mixing that in with my CC Herborean Cream in the shade Dory or Golden. That's what it's called. And like I said before, the Herborean CC Cream feels really lightweight, really nice on the skin, gives you an amazing glow. So I did mix the two together on my palette, a little bit of the Becca Opal with the Herborean. So just again, a little cocktail of the two. And I'm going to start putting this all over my face. Just light strokes. The brush I'm using is available in the brush set that we have online. You do get 14 brushes in the set for complexion as well as eyes and lips and it's a great value. And I'm going to sweep whatever's left over on my brush, on my lid, just to color that area, take away discoloration or any redness I may have, since my focus today is just complexion. I'm grabbing a tiny bit more for the other side. And I am going in a little bit under my eyes here as well. And the Becca Skin Perfect Liquid is giving me a really nice glow without making it look too heavy or over the top. And 
and I feel I could use a touch more of the CC Clean to add to my neck area. So I did grab a, light, a tiny bit more. And the CC Cream does feel really nice on the skin. It feels like I'm not wearing any makeup, but yet I feel well put together. And once I decide I'm satisfied with the complexion, if I do want to co cover any other areas, I can go back in with a tiny bit of a concealer. And I like to save that for the very end. Okay, so that's the first thing. I, and the CC cream also, just to remind everyone, it's a great product because it doubles as a moisturizer and a sunscreen, and it helps you to create a faster daytime routine. I'm not adding powder. I don't really need it. I don't want powder to overemphasize any areas and create dark dryness on my face. So I'm just skipping the whole powder. But I will go back and I do like to add, I do like to shape my and frame my face with a little bit of a bronzer. So I'm going to dive into a little bronzer, just using an angle brush, which can be used for blush as well. I'm using the bronzer from Girlatic. We have this in two shades. The one I'm using is a deeper shade, it's called Casablanca. And just a tiny bit. And just starting on my high cheekbones, not getting too close or too low. I want to keep my cheeks lifted. I'm going to add a touch on my face frame on the other side. And I like to start with small sections and go back into it. A little bit to emphasize my jawline, right under my neck area. And that just warms up my face really nicely. Okay, let's go back and add a touch of blush. And I do love to stick to cream blushes. Again, trying to look 10 years younger powders don't really work the best for me so i do like to stick to a cream blush i'm using the one from stila and the shade called camellia it's a very pretty bronze color just warming it up on the back of my hand a tiny bit and using my same brush that I did use before for my CC cream. I'm going to just take a little bit on the brush, the flat brush, and just pat it on areas around my cheek, keeping it lifted keeping it with a pretty glow on the 
other side and a tiny bit goes a long way. If you do feel you got too much, I like to flip my brush over since the other side is cleaner and just pat around and even it out. And that makes me look like I do have makeup on. I'm not looking 10 years older. And the whole focus is to stay on looking 10 years younger with your complexion light and natural. And what I could do is, since I will be focusing on my eyes tomorrow, but I would like to jump in and just kind of groom my brows, brush them using a brow gel from the Brow Gel. And I'm using the shade number two, which is for brown hair. So what I'm gonna do is just brush my brows up and I don't want to make them look heavy or dark. I do want to keep them looking really soft and natural. So using as a tiny little spoolie, picks up very little product. And this has, it's a tinted brow gel with microfibers. So it does give you an appearance of a fluffier brow and helps to fill in spots where you need to. And it's hard to go wrong with this product. It's so lightweight, you don't need too much. And if you did go wrong, you can take a clean mascara wand, brush through again, and that will take away some excess product that you have in there. And I'm just kind of brushing upwards and then softening the tail end. So I feel I do need a little more focus on the inner area rather than the end of my brows. That's what I'm trying to focus on, creating more fullness there. And they look pretty well groomed just with a brow gel. And I didn't spend too much time at all. Let's move into the lips. The major part of my lips video and the eyes will be tomorrow. But for today, I'm deciding just to put a tiny bit of the Joy Cream uh, Essential Lip Enhancer. And I'm gonna grab a tiny bit on my brush again. This is a great uh, lip prep. It's nice to use every day. It gives you that shine, that glow. It's not sticky. Feels good on my lip. I am going to jump in with a tiny bit of concealer using the Becca Luminous Concealer and I'm using the shade in beige, which I think is a good match for me. Don't need a whole lot of it, but just a little bit. 
going to go and grab my brush and uh, just using this brush I know I do have a little darkness in this area so that's my focus right now and I don't want to add too much I don't want this to settle into my lines under my eyes and I'm just going in with a little bit at a time and I'm keeping my skin soft and natural I do love to exfoliate my skin once a week to take away any dead skin or any large pores. And my focus is always on my skin rather than a full face of makeup. And that's what I enjoy the most. And I don't think I need any more concealing. I might add a touch here. And once you practice this look, this should not take you more than 20 minutes. Once we add the eyes in tomorrow, probably another 10 minutes and that is it and that's my look for today how to take 10 years off your face thank you i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to go to blushington.com everything is available online and we are more than happy to ship them to you bye bye